Hello guys, what is up? Beckbrojack here back for another Minecraft video, and today I will be showing you how to make a Minecraft modded survival server. I hope you guys enjoy. Heck, do you make a Minecraft modded survival server? So yeah, uh, this kind of came up uh, when I made my Jackpack Modded Survival series. A lot of people were wondering how me and uh, my cousin Chris were making this Let's Play Survival. And uh, they wanted me to show them how to make a Minecraft Modded Survival server. So I uh, decided that I would finally do that uh, now that Jackpack Season 1 is officially over. If you haven't checked that out yet, please feel free to go check it out. It's on my channel. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. I know a lot of you guys uh, have been really wanting to know how to do this. So yeah, let me just show you real quick. It's actually quite simple on how you actually do this. So first, let me just open up my internet browser. I'll be using Google Chrome for this video. And you're going to need to install Forge. So if you go into files.minecraftforge.net, as I already have preloaded right here, we're going to download it for 1.7.10. Now this is going to be the latest. So once you get to this official page, uh, you can actually just do any version that you want, but just for this video, I'm going to be doing 1.7.10 because that's the latest that Minecraft Forge is updated for. So now if I go over here to installer, we're going to click on that and uh, we're gonna try and stay on this page. Let's see, is this going to work for me? Uh, I've been having some troubles with AdFly lately. All right, I got it to work. So uh, now it's just going to count down in the top right corner and we are just going to hit on skip ad over here. And now in the bottom left, hand of your screen it's going to say this type of file can harm your computer uh you know this is just a mandatory thing that google must show you you're going to want to hit keep obviously because this file is perfectly fine it's forge you know um i already have like a uh, overcast i believe installed on my computer and it doesn't say that there's any problems with this so you should not get any uh file or you, sh you should not get any viruses from this just make sure you don't click on any of the other stuff on this page so now that I have Forge right here, I'm going to drag this over to the side so that I can drag Forge onto my desktop. So now if we exit out of here, as you can see, I have Minecraft Forge right here. So you're going to want to double left click on this and open the file. So this is a mod system installer that just opened. Now, once you do this, uh, you can either install it to your client if you know this is kind of what you want to do. But for the purpose of this video, we are trying to install it to a server. So I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. We're just going to call it the tutorial server because uh, you know it's just for tutorial purposes. And then once you do that, you're going to hit install server. Now we're going to hit this little thing with a dot 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 on it. And we need to find our folder that we just created. So we're going to go to desktop. And then as you can see over here, it says tutorial server. Now we're going to hit open up. And then as you can see here, this matches up. It says desktop tutorial server, and we are going to hit okay. So now it's going to download all the libraries and such, and we are just going to wait for that to finish up. And now when it's done, it should say successfully downloaded Minecraft server with uh, 15 libraries. I'm not sure if that number can vary, but uh, if it just says successfully downloaded, then you should be okay. And as you can see here, we have a tutorial server. So if I were to open that up, you are going to want to run Forge. This little thing right here, you're going to double left click on it, and then it should open up a brand new thing. Let's just see. Yeah, it opened it up like real quick, and then now it gave us a mods folder. So yeah, as you can see, like it opened this up real quick. I just kind of was waiting for that to happen. And we're actually going to need to accept the EULA. Now for like new Minecraft servers, because it changed the EULA, you're going to have to open it up. And then you're going to have to write true right here where it previously said false. And if we hit X out on that, hit save, now we should be okay. Now let's see, uh, the other thing we have to do is obviously install mods. So uh, for this little video, I, I'm going to be installing Twilight Forest for this mod. And we're just going to drag that right in there. So any mods that you would like to add, just drag them in there. But you have to keep in mind that they cannot be client side mods. So like uh, a mod like Damage Indicators that uh, is only used on the client does not belong in this folder. This is only for larger mods that adds in like new dimensions and brand new items. But if it's just a client side mod, um, pretty much what that means is that it doesn't actually affect like the actual game itself. It's only something that uh, your client uses when you actually play. So like damage indicators just like pops up little things, but it doesn't add any like new items or anything like that that will affect your gameplay. So yeah, like Twilight Forest, it adds in brand new dimensions and brand new items and mobs. So that's why it belongs in here. So then all that that's all done, we can go back here and we can almost start up our server. But there's one more quick note that you need to do 
is uh, if you go into your bottom left and you need to navigate to your dot Minecraft folder because you are going to need to download the, this mod as well. So we're going to type in percent app data if uh, percent if you are on a uh, I believe I'm on Windows 7 right now. But um, if you need to know how to navigate to your Minecraft folder, uh, if you're on like a Mac or Windows 8, just feel free to Google that. I'm sure there's a bunch of other tutorials, but you just need to get to this dot Minecraft folder. And you need to open up mods. Now, as you can see, I already have Twilight Forest in here. And as you can see over here, I have a bunch of these other mods. But uh, these are all client-side mods. So this is kind of what I was talking about, like not enough items. And uh, Optifine are all client-side mods that do not belong over here. Or else I believe it will give you some sort of error. So yeah, you need to definitely have uh, all the mods that you have in this folder over here in your mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So now that we have all that done, I'm going to actually show you that this can actually run. So now if we click on this Minecraft server 1.7.10, it should load up our world. So as you can see here, it opened up the little Minecraft server and it's preparing our spawn area and everything. So let's just wait for that to go. And as you can see here, it actually hit done. So if we exit out of here real quick, let's see if it's going to exit out for us. It does take a little bit because it is using a lot of my RAM. Now, as you can see, it did load up a bunch of new things that it added in a world file and to add in some other new folders that it needs for the server. So now I'm going to run it once more. Uh, I believe I might have clicked on the wrong file, but let me just say I'm not entirely sure like if they're uh, interchangeable. Let's see if it will actually pop up and it will go. Yeah, so I believe that um, to actually load up the mods, you have to click on this thing, the Forge Universal to actually run the server. I believe that they will both run the server, but this one will run it with the mods. So now that that is loaded, it should load up the uh, the Twilight Forest mod. So you will be okay now to open up your Minecraft. Now you have to make sure that your profile is actually using uh, the latest version of Minecraft Forge and make sure that it also corresponds with the actual modded survival server that you're going to be doing. So I'm using 1.7.10 here and my Minecraft modded survival server is also for Forge 1.7.10. All right, so we're just going to try and connect to the server now. Let's just wait for Minecraft to load up real quick. Make that full screen for you guys. And now if I hit on multiplayer, my server should pop up right here. Yep, I have uh, my little Minecraft server. All right, so it just let me connect in here. It's just loading up all the world. This is a brand new world for me. All right, and if I go over here, I'm actually going to need to opt myself so I can get into creative mode. So if I go over here and type in slash op and then my username, jackback13, hit game mode one. And then if I go over here, as you can see, I have Twilight Forest installed and I'll actually show you guys even one more step further. If you're still not convinced, I'm going to make the portal to get into the Twilight Forest. So if I go over here and I believe to make the portal, I need like a bunch of natural stuff. So I believe that this will suffice. So let's go over here. I'm also going to need some water and a little flat area to put my water in. So I believe right here will work. I need water and I also believe I need a diamond. So there we go. Now we just need to make a little area with uh, water inside. Make sure we have uh, the area around it to put the, the natural things. And now if I throw the diamond in, it should get uh, struck with lightning. And as you can see, it made the twilight portal. So yeah, as you can tell, this is an actual modded server server that is actually working. As you can see, you know, it has all the modded stuff in here and it even made the own uh, portal to go into the Twilight Survival world. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this little video. I really hope it did help you guys. If you have any questions for me, definitely feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And also make sure to go pound the like button if this video did help you and subscribe to the channel if you want some more tutorials like this and more of my mod showcases. I do a lot of them and, you know, let's plays and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm actually starting to lose my voice because I talk so fast in this video. But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.